Hello my brilliant fellows out there. I welcome you to another session at BSU. My dear friends, today we will learn about how to count in twos. So friends, before counting in twos, let's revise counting in ones. Do you want to take part with me? Okay, let's just start. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 bravo it was so obvious that while counting in ones we just had to move to the next numbers in line however when we'll be counting in twos we would skip one number and would jump to the next let's count in twos while taking the start from number zero we'll skip number one and would land upon number two then afterwards we will skip number three and would go to number four and following the same sequence, we'll skip number 5, number 7, and number 9, and would we'll go to number 6, 8, and 10. Now, let's learn the concept of counting in twos using a 100 square grid. A 100 square grid is a grid having a lot of numbers in it, starting from number 1 and reaching to number 100. So, children, let's practice counting in twos over it. We'll take the start from number 1, and we will skip number 2, and would we'll land upon number 3. Next, we'll skip number 4 and would we'll go to number 5. While skipping number 6, we'll reach to number 7. And following the same sequence, we'll reach to number 9 and then number 11. We can count in twos starting from any number. Let's take the example of number 30. We'll count number 30, we'll skip 31 and we'll land upon 32. Then we'll skip 33 and land on 34. Keeping the same sequence, we'll skip 35 and land on 36, then on 38, and then on 40. Oh, I have another idea. Why not try counting in twos using a number line? Come on, do it with me. So here's the number line, but this time we're going to take start from number 1. So we'll skip number 2 and would we'll go to number 3, and then number 5, number 7, and then number 9. So friends, do you know why do we need to do counting in twos? Because it helps us in counting the items very easily and quickly. Let's just see an example. For example, if we count the balloons one by one, it should take more time. Rather than if we count them in pairs, then it would be easier. So these are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Altogether, 10 balloons. Well done children, you have trapped the concept so well. Do not forget to practice counting in twos while performing the following task. Good luck!